Hey guys, how are you? So today I want to talk about some things that I would have told my younger self. And I mean much younger self, like some things that I would have wanted to hear in middle school or even high school. Sorry, I'm like standing, doing a standing desk today. And I've got my ball here, so I'm moving around a little bit, but whatever, you know. You never know what you're going to get when you press play on this. Um, but some of the things that I probably would have wanted my younger self to know are things like be authentic. Be authentic. Figure out what your likes and dislikes are and keep those close. Figure out who you are and just be your authentic self. Because if you're authentic, you're not going to be the most popular person, but that's okay. When you're authentic, you weed out those people who you're not their cup of tea. You weed them out. They're not going to hang around you if they're not, like if they don't like you, right? And you don't want fake people in your life. You don't. Now, this is very important for the teen, preteen, 20s, even single girls in your 30s. Be authentic. You are never going to find somebody who truly makes you happy by just being them if you can't truly be happy with you just being you. That's a lot, right? In my 20s, I went on a year of I didn't date a single person. I dated myself. I dated myself in a city like Miami, which was amazing. But it's full of a lot of fake things. And I didn't want that in my life. So I just went on dates by myself. I My friends would go out Friday and Saturday nights with our boyfriends or a date and I would take myself somewhere. And it was amazing. It was amazing. And one of my friends and I even went to the Bahamas. Like it was just amazing. Amazing. Um, so be authentic. Weed out those fake people. You don't want them in their life. They're not going to be there 20 years from now. I know they seem important right now in your life, especially when you're in high school. You're like, I just need as many friends as possible, but you don't. You need a few close people that you can trust with your life. That's all you need. You don't need all the other people. You just need a few people you can trust with your life that you can just be you with. Do more of what makes you happy. If it doesn't make you happy, don't do it. Now, this is really important when you're dating. If your boyfriend or girlfriend always wants to do something you absolutely hate and never wants to do anything you do, get rid of them. Your life will be like that for the rest of your life. Get rid of them. They're not willing to compromise. They're not willing to like you have happiness. That's not right. Now, ideally, you'd find somebody who loves to do all the same things with you and you never have to compromise. That's great, right? It sounds great. I would have, I mean, like that would have been my perfect person, but an awesome one who likes a little conflict every now and again. I like the bad boys. I can't help it. Um, and my husband's not a bad boy, but he like will stop me in my tracks. He's very secure in who he is. So he stops me in her. Don't change for a boy or a group of friends. That goes back to the being fake thing. You don't want to be fake. You don't want to do things that you don't love. And you don't want to put on an act or change for somebody. Because when you do, you're going to end up changing again for the next person. I was really guilty of this um, in my younger years. And it wasn't because I thought I, I thought about it. It was just I really enjoyed what they were doing. I really enjoyed the, the lifestyle or whatever. And that's what I kind of took into. I kind of was a chameleon. Now I kind of know what I want and I stand there. Standing up for yourself. Always stand up for yourself. Always. Don't let other people bully you down. Don't let a teacher try to tell you you're not good enough. Don't let anybody tell you you're not good enough. Stand up for yourself. If you feel that pit in your stomach like something's wrong, figure out what it is and do something about it. Be kind no matter what. Be kind. You can always show kindness. Somebody's picking on people. Don't laugh. Walk over and befriend them. Just be kind. Smile. Help people. I mean, everybody you touch, be kind. It will get you so much further in their life. Say no more and yes less. When you say no more on the things that you really don't want to do, you're saying yes less and you're making more time for yourself. So make sure you do that. Find your people and love them hard. That's probably the most important part of this. It is find your people and see once you know who who you are and what you like and dislike, you'll find people that have the similar likes and dislikes and who will cheer you on no matter what in life and will be there for you no matter what. And when you find those people, love them. 
love on them and love on them and keep them in your life because I just tell you it's pretty amazing to have friends for 20 30 40 years in your life that you've known you know like my big sister I've known since I was born I can't imagine my life without her and she has been there through so many milestones with me and I just love her to pieces as well as my best friends like the ones who I found in my life that have stayed in my life are those who truly are amazing friends and amazing people and they love me as hard as I love them and I adore that so find your people find who you are love yourself and be your authentic you and life will be so much happier I promise anyway signing off love you guys